Hello everyone, welcome to a Small Terrible YouTube channel. So ngayon magpa-part 2 tayo para sa ating discussion sa motion for module 1. Part 2 na tayo. So in part 1, we discussed or we described motion of an object in terms of distance and displacement. So in part 2, we're going to describe the dis or motion of an object. Okay, let's describe the motion of an object in terms of the speed, velocity, and acceleration. So basically, yung distance and displacement answers the question how far did the object travel. At this time, we're going to describe the motion by answering the question how fast did the object move. And this will be answered um, in terms of the the object speed, velocity, and acceleration. So these are the objectives of our lesson for today. First, let's define speed, velocity, and acceleration. Second is, let's differentiate instantaneous speed and constant speed. And third, solve problems involving speed and velocity. Let's start with the what I know portion. Number one, which of the following is defined as the displacement covered per unit time? The answer is velocity. Number two, which of the following is a unit of speed? Meter per second. Number three, what is shown when you look at the speedometer in a moving car? You're looking at its instantaneous speed. Number four, which of the following is defined as the change of velocity per unit time? That's acceleration. Number five, which of the following statements refers to velocity? So it has something to do with the, the speed, I don't know, not speed, but how fast and its direction. So it's two and three. Without the direction, it is not a velocity. It's just a plain speed. Okay, for six and seven, let's refer to the table. So which of the following statements is are true so it's it's statement two and four so the male athletes are faster than the female athletes compared to the speed of the fastest male athlete the average speed of the fastest female athlete is slightly less so all you have to do is to divide the record time well, not really the record time uh, just take a look at its recorded time okay female male all right, number seven, how do you compute for the average speed of each athlete? So divide 200 meters by the recorded time of travel. That's what I mean. So given the distance, divide by time, recorded time. You, you can compute the speed. And you can now say who is fastest among the four athlete. I mean male and female athletes. Number eight, which of the following statements is not true about the object moving with constant speed? Not true. So the, ob the speed of the object is equal to zero. So this is not true. Constant speed, that means there is a speed, but it's not equal to zero. So that is why this is not true. What is the speed of a moving vehicle in going upward in an inclined road? So, of course, it decreases. Number 10, a moving jeepney is approaching an intersection. What should responsible or a responsible driver do? So, of course, it will decrease the speed. 11, who among the runners had the greatest speed? So, given the distance, divide it by the time. So, this is 7, this 8, this 9.5, this 10. 10.5 so basically runner z got the greatest speed just divide them which of the following situations exhibit accelerated motion so it's two three four accelerated motion sila okay 13 given the table below which of the following statements about the learner's speed is true so just divide distance divide by time 40 by 8, that's 5, this is 4, this is 62. So basically, the speed of um, April is less than that of Stella. 
but the speed of Stella is equal to that of Rhea. Is it true? 4 divided by 8 is 5. Uh, let's read it like this. Stella's speed is greater than... This should not be the case. Alright, so we have the answers. I thought this is 6. <laughs> this is 60 pala. So, the the speed base basically of that of Rhea and Stella are equal. So, this is letter C. But, yeah. April's speed is less than that of Stella. Stella's speed is equal to that of Rhea. Alright, number 14. The answer is letter D. And number 15, letter C. So basically, we're going to do division between distance and time for this part. Okay, let's have the discussion. So we have speed, velocity, and acceleration. Alright, so let's go directly to this part. So, the speed can be described as how fast or slow an object, uh, an object moves. So, rate at which an object changes its location, that is speed. And take note, speed is a scalar quantity. When you say scalar quantity, it involves magnitude only, no direction not direction okay then basically if you're going to compute for the average speed distance traveled divided by the time it takes to travel the distance that's how to do it and take note of the standard unit of speed it's meter per second standard unit for speed but we can have other units like kilometers per hour miles per hour but the standard is meters per second so always remember in solving speed that equation is distance divided by time so v stands for speed v stands for distance t stands for the time of travel so let's have this example elma moros the fastest female sprinter in southeast asia can run a 200 meter distance course in 24.42 seconds what is elma's speed so in solving problems like this identify first the given so we have the given the distance 200 meters and the time 24.42 seconds so we are looking for the speed so Having this, go back to the formula. So what's the formula in solving for the speed? Distance over time. So all we have to do this time is to, um, what's this? Distance is already 200. T, 24.42. So just replace the, replace the, cont I mean the variable with the, the number given, the numbers given. So let's have the, this, the computation. 200 so this is already wrong we got i mean i don't know what happened to this but let's do the computation it should be 200 divided by 24.42 do not forget to label it with their unit so let's do the math okay so given the the 200 Divide by 24.42, the answer should be 8.19 meters per second. So, pagpasensyahan nyo lang yung writer nito kasi baka nagkakamali lang siya ng pag-type. So, actually, the answer is 8.19. Okay? Let me uh, write the correct answer. It should be 8.19 meters per second. That should be the answer for the speed in the problem number 1. So just never mind this part. Anyway, we can have another problem uh, given these numbers. Let's proceed to the velocity. I hope it is clear to you now how to compute for speed. Very easy lang naman. Distance of divided by time. And there are instances that speed and time are given, so all you have to do is to cross-multiply, if that is the case. Cross-multiply. Okay, let's proceed to velocity. So, velocity 
it has something to do with the direction already. Still, speed and direction ang velocity. Alright, speed and direction. Let me do the highlight. So, the standard unit for velocity is meters per second pa rin with the, with the direction. Okay, with the direction already. Um, you can describe either the average velocity over time period or the velocity of a specific moment. That's instantaneous velocity. The moment you look at the speedometer in your car during your time of travel you are looking at the instantaneous velocity say for example you are moving at 60 60 kilometers per hour that's the instantaneous velocity so average velocity is displacement divided by the time over which the displacement occurs so parang pareho lang sila ni speed ng formula pero the difference is b this time is not distance but it's displacement and v is velocity so let's have this uh, problem. Limar drove to the city to pick up a friend. She went 300 kilometers east in about 10 hours. Calculate her velocity. So just um, replace the the in the given formula the variables with the exact given numbers. So kilometers east, 10 hours. So just divide or just cancel out the zeros. You're left with 300 kilometers per hour east. Do not forget to copy the units. Okay, let's... Uh, so, kailan ba natin masasabi na constant ang speed? So, masasabi natin yan kapag after 5 seconds, like, say for example, 10 meters per second pa rin ang kanyang movement. After 10 seconds, um... Constant and speed, say for example, let's have this um, tape. So when you say constant speed, let me correct it. It doesn't mean that the same pa rin ang kanyang distance as time um, goes. It's like this. Kasi speed ang ating tinutoko, speed. So for example, nag-move siya after, ten sec after, after 5 seconds, naka 10 meters na siya. So if you're going to divide distance divided by time, it's 2. Okay, then after 20 meters, for example, naka 10 seconds na siya. So still the speed is 2. So that's where, that's how we can say that constant and speed of travel. But you know, say instantaneous speed. It's the moment you look at the speedometer of your car. The time at that particular moment of travel. That's the instantaneous speed. Now, let's proceed to acceleration. This tells how fast an object or a body changes its velocity. So, the formula for acceleration is final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. That's how we are going to solve for acceleration. So, let's have this example kasi malapit na tayong magtatapos sa ating recording time. So, given this, so the final velocity is 25 right 25 km per hour its initial is zero kilometer per hour uh, the time of travel is five seconds so 25 minus zero that's 25 km per hour divided by five so that's five kilometers per hour per seconds by the way the standard unit for acceleration is meters per second per second or meters per second squared that's the standard unit for acceleration. But again, we can still use the other units like kilometer per hour squared, miles per hour squared. But just always remember that merong squared yung um, time niya. Okay? Alright, so kasi malapit na tayong ma-end sa ating recording time, i-flash ko na lang ang answers sa ating assessment. Number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I-post nyo lang ito para makita nyo lahat. Okay? So, that ends our part 2 discussion about speed, velocity, and acceleration. If you have questions, do not forget to comment down below and I am willing to answer if I have time. Pagpasensyahan nyo na, limited lang ang ating internet connection ngayon kasi nasalanta po tayo ni Bagyo Odette sa ating lugar ngayon dito. Bye-bye! Thank you so much!